Are we gonna do one more? Yeah. 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 This is what we call letting you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is like our fourth gig. So we are very wiped out. Well, I'm not really tired because I'm not going home. I, well, I am going home. I'm going to finish my costume so I can hit the street at 5 o'clock. See, what y'all don't know is that there are two Mardi Gras. Two. One Mardi Gras that y'all see down there on Canal Street and Bourbon Street. Oh, I'm very serious, baby. I'm being very factual. And that Mardi Gras is for all of our visitors. Yeah. And it's to make you feel wonderful and have a good time and catch everything, but please don't show nothing. Thank you very much. The beads are very inexpensive. We will give them to you. <laughs> but there's another Mardi Gras. A Mardi Gras that's for the locals. It's a Mardi Gras that has been going on for over 100 years, maybe 200 years. You know? And that Mardi Gras is in the neighborhood. And that Mardi Gras is about going from house to house, and stopping and listening to music and looking at all the different Indian suits and all of the baby dolls and everybody's got on a costume and you go from bar to bar and you lead the parade and you get the second line and you hear them being, oh my goodness, the drums and you hear the trumpets, you hear all of the tubas and everything, you know that sound, when you hear the sound you run out in the street because you know what's coming. They got a parade coming down the street, y'all. Hey, hey. And when you hear that, you see people coming out of every door. People coming out of their cars. People jumping. People bump jumping. People throwing that thing. People getting ready. Because they know what's about to go down. This is the Mardi Gras that you need to see. So tomorrow, if you feel like you want to come on down in the neighborhood, come on down. Come on down at Orleans and Claiborne. See the Indians. See Zulu in their elements. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you come down and you watch all the different things that are going to go on in the neighborhood. Because that's where it's at. You be out there with your mama, your grandmother, the nuns from your church, the priests from your church, your grandbabies, your nana, your parents, all your neighbors, all your children, your great friends. And you're ready, ready to go. Because that's where it's at. Oh, my God. of some of the Indians, the Mardi Gras Indians. Every year we pay homage to the Native Americans that helped us, you know? And they taught us so many things. And the intermingling of African Americans and Native Americans is a very special part of what this city is about. And I don't care who you are. I don't care what part of town you live in. You know. When you hear the Indians coming, what you do? Get out of the way. That's right. It takes a whole year to make a suit. You will not be seen in that suit again next year. You wear that suit. You show your colors. You are the king for the day. And all the way you get it. Yeah. Somebody got a soul, so so. I'm going home and so y'all. Somebody got a soul, so so.
Bobby G. He got a gold to grind. Oh yeah? He got a gold to grind. My big chief drank plenty of firewater. My big chief know just how to hoop and holler. My big chief come all over town. My big chief got a big old gold to grind.
Y'all have to be out there buck jumping. And you have to have on colors. Don't come in the street all naked. We will send you home. You got to come in the street and be Mardi Gras. You are not Mardi Gras if you do not wear colors. You be someone else on Mardi Gras day. Colors. See y'all. Keep the peace, keep the faith, and for goodness sake, keep that rhythm.